What is it about this parcel of land, set deep amongst the Georgia pines, that draws us in so? Is it the beauty? Is it the colour? Is it the sound and the breezes? Is it the history? It's all of that. Everything together makes this place special. This is Augusta National. This is the Masters. Now, earlier this morning, one of the Masters' cherished traditions, the honorary starters out there to get the tournament underway. Golf's preeminent global ambassador, Gary Player, a three-time Masters champion, got him started and finished with that classic leg kick. Jack Nicklaus, of course, six-time Masters tournament winner, one of the game's greatest icons, synonymous with Augusta National. And Tom Watson, Masters champion in 1977 and 1981. I can tell you that all three, not surprisingly, knocked it in the fairway to the delight of the patrons assembled. But it was then that the Masters tournament was officially declared underway. From the Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia, EA Sports so proudly presents the Masters. Today, we begin this annual Rite of Spring amongst the blossoming azaleas and dogwoods, live opening round coverage of this tradition that is truly unlike any other. This promises to be a fun four days, a lot of storylines to get to as we check out the early leaderboard. We've got a tie at the top at six under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, ready to begin the quest for a green jacket. And this opening tee shot going to come to rest in the second cut left of this first fairway. And that ball looked very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. in for a par here at the first and he'll stay at level par. This one tugged just a bit the wind gonna push it a little. Yeah, this is a good drive. Watch it trundle down the hill a bit. Well done off the tee here at hole number two. Now, after the big drive, this a good distance here for a second to the par five. will not be an eagle putt, far from it. It's into the left front bunker here at the second. Not quite on in two. Here's the third from the green side bunker. Uh, just too tough to control out of the sand. That one unable to hold the green. It'll run off into the short stuff.
boy, that's well done right there. He barely touched that and got it to roll to a stop. And believe me, it was much harder than it That finished off for par, he with the second, and he'll stay at even par. That one looking a little right. Ah, oh, that got a fortunate bounce. Oh, it'll be just fine. So can he capitalize on the break here? His second from the short grass. So that may be not his best of chips, but he'll have that for his par. You'd expect that to be a little closer from where he was, and that is far from a gimme. Nicely done. It is a par here at the third, and he'll remain right where he is. Okay, good shot, and a putt for birdie here at number four. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And he'll stay right where he is. And that will do just fine. Noticeable breeze coming right to left as he eyes his second. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. And this one might need a little bit extra encouragement, Rich, to make it up this slope, but all in all, not too difficult a putt. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And he'll remain right where he is. All right, you don't have to catch it on the middle of the face every time. That's on the middle of the dance floor and a birdie putt coming up.
close. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Safely in for Parr here at the sixth. And he'll stay right where he is. Good tee shot down the left side, and where the flag is cut, this is a great angle to have a go at it. Front right hole location as he prepares his second to the par four. So that may be not his best of chips, but he'll have that for his par. You'd expect that to be a little closer from where he was, and that is far from a gimme. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And he'll remain right where he is. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Okay, that's going to be a little tricky over there. It's over in the mounds left of this eighth green. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth, and he'll stay right where he is. This one starting a little bit left. This is going to be a beautiful drop down the hill into the big clearing. And it'll set up a good look at this ninth green. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notovigay the third. 101 to the hole. Wind is helping from behind so you can take a little less club. With the sand wedge. And boy, does this look good. Uh, Rich, I was told to keep my eyes on this player this week. That is a shot that's as good as any professional in the world. Oh, missed a right. Just didn't have the right line. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. And that will mean it's an even par score of 36 for this first nine at Augusta National. Super shot.
Wheaton coming from his right as he gets set for his second. I'm not quite sure that strike, whether they got it all, but ball's just come up a little shy. Outside chance for a birdie. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And that will be more than adequate. It's safely into the fairway. Now one of the tougher second shots in golf. The second, you're at 11. This ball not going where it was intended. It's going to work its way into the second cut. And that's not exactly ideal. Far from a tapping for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Okay, well done. It is a par here at 11, and he'll remain at one under par. And that will miss this 12th green left, but that should be manageable from there. Second shot now here at the par three. This is an 11 foot putt. Ah, yes, a perfect read there. That is in to save par. And he'll remain in red figures at one under. <laughs> and that one's going to hit hard. Get a little bit of run out, and that is going to wind up just fine. Frank, you know you've been in the spot. It is one of the most anticipated shots in the entire sport. The second at 13 at Augusta National. How do you do with that one? That was great, Rich. This is the most famous par five in the, in the world. One of the reasons why, too, not just the dog leg left that the hole presents, but the uneven lie for the second shot. That had to be hit good and was indeed. How about the speed here? Are you kidding? That is exceptional from that distance. That is worth a wow. Just like that, it's a birdie here at 13.
and that a good shot up the hill and into the fairway at 14. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. The most attractive feature of this hole is the dynamic design of the green, cut into three separate sections guarded by an amazing false front where the ball will come all the way off the front edge. Now it's a decent sized green, it's not bad, just a little past the hole. Gonna wander off to the right and leave maybe two three feet coming back. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll stay at two under. All right, in the fairway. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Looking at the greatest second shot in golf, but don't let the beauty fool you. There is trouble everywhere. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straight fourth third shot. <laughs> Two good shots on this par five leaves that simple little chip, and that was beautifully played. That one finished off. It's a birdie here at 15. Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this par three. Yeah, that was going to be tough to fly that all the way to the hole out of the bunker. And this is going to come up a good bit short. Just going to sneak on by. Okay, that in for a bogey at 16. And that's going to drop him to two under. This one starting up that left side. That will not be what he's looking for, as that's going to hop into the second cut. Second shot coming up. Notice down there. 148 yards left to the hole. Wind is helping from behind, so you can take a little less club. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. From about eight feet. Yeah, that's good punt. 
It is in for par here at 17, and he'll remain right where he is. Now, got to manage the pine straw here with his second. Miss hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? All of the above, maybe. It's a little bit of a head scratcher. It wasn't that hard a shot. Yeah, an awkward little bunker shot. Just splash it out, let the ball run towards the flag. Okay, not a bad recovery from out of the sand and a chance, maybe, to limit the damage to one drop shot. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. He'll drop back now to one under par. So today's round of golf, unlike any our featured golfer has played before, that first round as an amateur at Augusta National. So many things can be achieved at the amateur level, Rich, but as you've just detailed, to get to go down Magnolia Lane, perhaps stay in the crow's nest, but more importantly, play in your very first Masters. So for Frank Nabilo, notably gay the third, Iona Steven, and a cast of hundreds, I'm Rich Lerner. You've been watching PGA Tour Golf on EA Sports. So long, everyone.